Hello and welcome, ITTV Gaming here. Today's episode, I want to show you how to build this bridge. As you can see, it is a quite lovely design. And honestly, this time it is not easy to build, but I have tried to make the tutorial easy as possible. And let me quickly show you a little bit more around. As you can see, we got a lovely pathway as well. And you can make this fit in each Minecraft save because it is very adjustable. Now, if you want to build along with this, there will be a list in the description with the requirements. Now, you want to make sure that you have at least 36 blocks of space. And now, once you got everything, let's get started. I got a 36 long area. You can go further if you want to, but you want to make sure that you have an even number. Otherwise, the pillars are not going to be symmetrical and I don't think it will look great after all. Okay, then so. we're going to add some extra pillars. So you want to go out seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to be the start of the second pillar. Let's do it over here as well. Okay, now over here, we're going to add a glowstone. Then on top of this, we're going to add some barbed hypia. And after that, you just want to add some dark oak wood and cover this all up. Okay, now for the sides, what we're going to do is a little bit different. This is going to be the start, so not the center block, but the left corner. So let's add some more blocks over here. Then you just want to add some glowstone. We're going to go up. And then again, we're going to cover this. <clears throat> okay, once you've got that in place, what we're going to do is we're going to add some stairs on top. First, we're going to add a stair over here, then add a full block, then another stair. And we're going to do this for each one. Then you just want to connect these two points. Now over here at the center, you want to add a deep slate tile stair as well. Then just continue this all the way around. And obviously you want to do this for each one. Okay, then we're going to build a staircase on each side. So to start off, you want to go in three blocks like this. Then you just want to make a simple staircase. So we go. Now we're going to do this for each side, actually. Okay, once that is done, we're going to add some glass. At the center, we want to place two lime stained glass, followed with two stained glass paints. And then over here, you just want to add another slime glass like this. Then you can get rid of the extra blocks over there. Okay, now after that, over here, you can just add some iron bars going down. Okay, so let's do this for each one.
Now let's decorate these pillars a little bit. So to start off, we're going to add some iron bars. Place a trapdoor over here and close it. Then we're going to add some buttons like this. Okay, then we're going to place some warped buttons. Okay, then go ahead and add a warped trapdoor followed with a lantern. And then you can add another iron bar on top if you want to. And you can even connect this to the iron bar. Okay, so let's repeat this same decoration for the opposite side as well. Then we're going to fill this all in with some slabs, just like this. And you just want to make a straight line going across. Let's do it over here as well. Before we move up, let's finish this. So you want to add some chains going down. Then place a lantern as well. We're going to do this for each side. Okay, now let's add some slabs over here as well. Okay, so you actually want to go in two blocks from the sides, not three. So let's get rid of one block. Okay, then after that, we're going to place a warped hyper, followed with a glowstone. Then next to that, you want to add dark oak wood, a warped hyper. Okay, then place a stepped warped hyper and then a regular one. Followed with a dark oak wood, and then we are going to have a glowstone again. Then you want to take a black concrete, go up, just like this. Then we're going to go in, and you want to repeat the same thing over on this side. So you want to make this side symmetrical. Okay, now for the second row, it's going to be quite simple. You just want to add two black concrete blocks. Okay, then for the second row, you want to add two black concrete blocks. Then you want to add some stripped part of blocks. I actually want to add a part of over here instead of the stripped one. Then you can do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we are going to do the same shape for this side as well. Okay, so now let's decorate this side a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a pillar going up. Then you just want to take your stairs and place it in going across. Okay, and over here you just want to add some leaves. Okay, let's do that for each corner. Okay, so next up we're going to build in the first arch shape which is going to be over here so you just want to add some stairs like this just go back oops and then go up you want to add another black concrete over there and then add two more stairs then place your trapdoors in and open it up Okay, once you got that, what you want to do is you want to add a set on top of this. So we're going to go in. So let's add a temporary block. So and then you want to go out over here. Let's do the same thing. Okay, once you got that, you want to go up and 
in okay then once you're at this point what you want to do is you want to add some slabs going up going down as well and if you want to you can even add some slabs on top of this followed with a wall on top then you can place a entrant as well so once you got that it should look like this then after that we're going to add the soul lantern oh actually we need to go down one more okay once you got that you just want to add a lantern followed with a beacon and after that you can just add some chains going up and we're going to add some chains going up over here as well then on the sides we are going to add some crying obsidian and over here as well then we're going to fill the rest of it in with some warp type here once you got that it should look like this now if you want to you can even replace this as well just to give this a little bit more depth okay now once you got that we are going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side what we're going to do is we're going to build in the arch shapes on the sides so we're going to go in with some slabs and we're going to go in four in total okay so you want to add a stair okay then let's go down and let's go across okay now you can actually replace this with some black concrete if you want to okay then add a stair over here followed with two slabs then we're going to go up again starting from this point just want to go up okay then you want to go up and once you got this in place what you want to do is you want to take the trap doors again place it in and open them up after that we're going to go in again then you just want to go up and in one more just like this and after that you can just take your slabs and fill this all in going down Okay, then place a lantern followed with a beacon underneath then you can even take your chains go up connect these two points just like that okay then you want to replace this block with a dark oak trap door that is going to be the first side now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side but first let's get the wall followed with the end rod okay now let's add a slab Okay, now let's do that on the remaining three sides.
Okay, so then we're going to add some birch stairs going in. Let's connect these two points. Okay, and then we're going to add one more over here as well. Okay, let's do it over here. Okay, then at the center we're going to add some oak fence gates and open it up. Here we go. Then add some slabs over here, followed with some trapdoors. We're going to add the birch trapdoors going across. Okay, then add your dark oak stairs. Okay, over here we're going to add some fences. Add some trapdoors going across. On top of it, you can add some entrance. Then you can add the warp trapdoors and open it up. Okay, now we're going to do this for each one. Okay, so let's repeat this on the opposite side as well. Okay, then at the center, we're going to go in with some birch again. Just cover this up. Here we go. Okay, then we're going to cover this all up with some dark oak trapdoors. Now, you can mix in some cobbled deep sleigh if you want to, which is what I'm going to do just to give this a little bit more depth and detail. Okay, now let's add some leaves on the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to start over here. Go in. And then just want to go across and then go down. And this doesn't have to be symmetrical, but you can make it if you want to. Okay, so let's add some leaves over here as well. And also I'm going to place some vines. You can do the same if you want to. Okay, now we still need to add some leaves over here. And like I said, you don't have to make this perfectly symmetrical. Okay, now let's repeat it on the back side as well. Okay, so once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this area. Now, first of all, we need to get rid of this ugly shape. So let's extend this. Okay, then let's basically make an arch shape over here as well. Okay, now we're going to work with this place. So let's build this up. Okay, now let's do the same thing over here. Okay, here we go. Now, once that is in place, we're going to add some chains going across. Now, if you want to, you can do the same thing over here. OK, 
Okay, now once that is done, we are going to work on this area over here and we are going to add a staircase. Okay, so once that is all done, we are going to create or make a staircase. So first of all, we want to extend the sides a little bit. So first, let's go across and let's indicate the start and the end. go now what we're going to do for the center area is we're going to add some campfires and we are going to make them all go out Much about, much about that in place what we're going to do is we're going to add some black concrete at the center dividing this Okay, then go ahead and place some iron bars and on top you just want to add some trapdoors just like this. Here we go, then on the sides we're going to add some walls going down. Okay, then you can just add some leaves. Okay, once that is done, let's repeat it over here as well. Okay, now let's build the same thing on the opposite side. To, uh, we have talked about how to extend this so what you basically want to do is you want to extend this part over here and then you can just add some walls followed with some leaves and then if you have a very big area you can just add another one of this okay so it's easy as that to extend this out Okay, now let's add some leaves over here as well. Now we're going to fill this in with a lot of leaves. Not also, uh, not only to decorate, but also just to hide these blocks. Okay, then on the sides we're going to add some dark oak trapdoors. Okay, now if you want to, you can even make this go up one more block. Now we are going to add some glowstone as well just to light this up and we are going to go in line with the panels. Here we go. Now let's add a lantern on top of the barrels just to light it up a little bit more. And here we go. Now as you can see it is a quite lovely design and I have to be honest 
This took me way longer than I expected or anticipated, but I am pretty happy with the end result of this. And if you are happy with it as well, let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.